everybody and welcome back to another episode of the knee slapping k-pop podcast i am kayla and today i am joined with sammy hello and maria hey 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 happy and new year we- it's well, it's like the end of January now. Well, yeah, yeah. it's like mid January. Well, when this yeah. releases, will be end of January. But I think it's our first ones we've recorded in the. No, is it our first ones we've recorded in the New I Year? I think so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There we go. Yes, we go with because, yes. Yeah. yeah, it's the first one we recorded. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Anyway, we're here to do the top ten worst songs in 2019 because we did the best songs last week. So of course it has to come in a ones. pair. So we have to do the ten worst songs now. And these are always and, much more fun for us to yes, record. These are always much more interesting to record because there's yes. only so many ways you can say, this was really good. Right. <laughs> there's a lot there's of different ways so you can I be can. shit, though. There's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot and of swear words to describe think... terrible things, honestly. Like, and, people get crazy. And we are very willing to say all of them. Mm-hmm. All, no word is off the table mm-hmm. on no. this podcast. Totally. Um, but, and like, looking at this list specifically... All these songs are very shitty in very different ways. Yes. Wide um, range of variety here. Yeah, a lot of different Again, shit. Um, except for like one, we but, said you know, the... a lot of different shit. No, they're all bad. Mm. Uh, <laughs> like we said with the the last, last week's list for 2019, 2019 is like a year, like a transitionary year in K-pop where like, there's, you know, we're making, we're figuring out what noise music is before we actually go full in. And oh boy, is this a hodgepodge of like, well, maybe K-pop will like this. <laughs> no, no, we don't. Never do this again. Never. Never. And then unfortunately, unfortunately we do a this lot of the these next groups several years. to do this again. <laughs> yeah. This became the, si- this is the beginning of the signature sound for some of these groups. Mm-hmm. And it's, a, it's so uh-huh. bad. Mm-hmm. Or it's a continuation of the signature sound for a lot of these groups. All right, so the 10 worst song of 2019 was Luna's Butterfly. Now look. Maria entirely disagrees then yes, on this. I, I we are do. aware. I do. Yes, yes. But but here's the thing. Kayla I'm eternally and I seething, dis- but it's okay. We're, 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 we're all allowed to have opinions here. Here's the thing. Here's the we're thing. allowed to have opinions. Kayla and I, here's the thing. Kayla and I dislike this song so much that our dislike evens out with Maria's like of this song to still be negative. We dislike it that much. Yeah. And honestly, I just It's called two it's votes good. against one. That's what it is. And this is what happens. But also, we just hate... It's not that we dislike it. It's we it's bad. hate this song. We really hate it. It's really bad. And it's not a bad number, song. If, again, if it was us and Kayla song. by ourselves, this song would be way higher on the list, mm-hmm. just saying. But, look. They... The song, if you look at it on paper, isn't bad. It's perfectly fine. It's it's not like the song we had on our last year list or for 2022 with Pose, where they're doing a concept that doesn't work. This is Luna doing a perfectly fine concept for that. But why the hell do they sound like that? I think they sound fantastic for the most part. I could understand. No. Yes, I really no. do like a lot of their vocals in this song. I can understand a little bit in the chorus where there's a little bit of an inflection. The chorus sounds like shit. That's, the really, no, that's where it really goes we to cannot shit is the chorus. It, it does not sound that bad. It does not sound that bad to me. Yes, it does. It sounds, I it does did a it. perfect impression. I know, I, sound, I know. I did a perfect impression. To me, I don't I don't it think it's bad. Awful. It doesn't bother me. I also like the beat a lot during the chorus. Like, I don't know why I'm kind of a slut for those kind of beats. So I think this is where we differ a lot in that regard. But... I think the beat is entirely uninteresting yeah. and kind of boring. Yeah, I see, also, yeah, what, what, what we learned there. over the course of time is that because the chorus is so shit, it's impossible to perform this song live, like, in it any is. capacity. <laughs> Yep, no, they cannot. I do agree this that live. it's hard to perform vocals like that live with the type of dancing they're doing for the song. Like, no, it's, it's hard. Very to, tough. I don't think they, I truly don't think they've ever performed it live. That lo, that note it's very is not hard within that girl's range. Yeah. That girl, that honestly, I genuinely, in my opinion, I wouldn't be surprised if she never hit that note. I wouldn't be surprised if they made it that she hit that note. 
when I first heard that song, I don't think it's a note that anyone hit. I'm pretty sure it's just the I sound. I don't think they ever did. I'm yeah, pretty sure I it's don't just think they the ever sound. hit. Yeah. I think they tried and then they, you know, you know, studio recordings can make a lot of things work. Right. They yeah, they made them hit that note. So, you know, at some point through some on technically on a studio recording they hit that note. Have they ever been able to recreate that? Much like the scientific method, everything you must be recreatable. They never have been able to recreate it. <laughs> so did it ever really exist to begin with? I'm not convinced anyone ever hit that note to begin with because I think it was heavily auto-tuned. So. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Also, another thing that I find to be always uh, Luna's weakest point is their rapping. I don't think they have particularly interesting rappers. Like, I don't think most Let's girls not even call mean... them not interesting. I'm going to call them not good. Like, <laughs> Look, I'm trying to be generous. I think they're bad at their job, but still. I mean, I'd say Jin Chol should just be left to it for the most part, but otherwise. Just... And even her. Even her. Mm. Jinsel can pass as like a female idol rapper, sure. She, Jinsel yeah. can yeah. pass as an as your mid tier female idol rapper in a cutesy girl group, mm. and that's really where they need to be relegated. <laughs> Don't attempt. You're be the other thing with it is that it begins this thing of just ex like the chorus, and this is something I personally just don't like. I. It's it has one it has the anti drop which I find wholly uninteresting and two it isn't a chorus it's the beginning of the one line choruses because it doesn't have one then it goes into a dance break then we're back and I'm like okay uh, yeah and? it's kind of fair um, and it isn't it, I mean you nothing can't say happened. it's not it's one of those choruses where it's mostly production but like it's one it is, it's but entirely it's one that production ne that's never and when I already me, don't it's one that for some reason has well, never because you like because you're into that production. I don't yeah. like that product. I don't. Well, think I don't the always like. The but the thing is, I don't boring. always like that production though. No, personally. I'm saying you like the production in this. Song. Yeah, in this song, it, I think for me it yeah. works. Obviously, for you guys, doesn't work out as well. But yeah, yeah. I just think that it's like I don't know. Luna has done better. I think Luna. I think between this and Pose, which are the two Luna songs we've ended up putting on our uh, worst lists. Uh, they have, they're very different, obviously. They they sound nothing Yeah, we're like. on, like, complete opposite ends of the spectrum. But, but, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Both of them kind of make Luna, to me, sound a little lifeless. And, like, one of the only things I personally think Luna really has going for them is they can bring some energy. They can't, except who knows if they can at this point, because everything went Blockberry creative Look, at the moment. Look, in 2019, everything was still going great. Uh, but, yeah, so that was the Luna song. All right, um, you guys might get me for this one because I actually don't hate the next song either, so this will be fun. Uh, number nine, it's uh, Superhuman by NCT. Yeah, um, I can understand it being mediocre. But for some reason, I, I don't bad. hate it for whatever fucking so reason. This song I've, I personally, I think of... part of it is because I just, there, to me, there's much worse NCT songs than this. But there is. I, I agree with it being yeah, mediocre. Like, 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 I, I'll say it's mediocre. There are much, but this is the beginning of the NCT downfall. I, I think is actually, it. I think it started this with the, the other. What was the, the other NCT. one? It was like Power or something like that. Or no, that's an EXO song. No, that's an EXO song. No, no, not not no, not EXO song. It's like it reminded me of like a video game kind of thing it was like a repackage punch, punch there punch. we go yeah that one punch is after i think this punch is, is like after several this. years that's like this is before oh, never mind. a year after yeah yeah superhuman yeah, this... i liked I, I liked it superhuman, i thought it, I, but looking I back it's is... kind of mediocre like there the are elements that i like human. but like to me it just, it's just it's giving mediocre very mediocre you know so, so here's my big problem with it is that this is not an NCT song in any capacity. No, it's an like, EXO song. And, not an an and maybe that's why I think it's very mediocre for NCT. This is a song NCT. they should never be singing. <laughs> it's definitely an EXO song. But also, the and I think is so, that this NCT is and EXO are very liked, different groups. This is back at a time when I really liked NCT. Mm. And yeah. this is when they released this song and it fell off hard for me because this is not oh, the music absolutely. I had ever at any point wanted from them. It's so yeah. nothing. And it was the start of, I think, SM attempting to give all of their artists the same type of music but then they went completely but the other direction and started giving direction. nct's music to everybody but this was yeah. them kind of like 
it seemed seemingly handing them like an exo shiny reject song and it made me like really really angry that it's because it felt like so much like no effort went into it and it was just like they didn't even think about how or why they should be getting the song to begin with and it just made me like really angry the thing with the, and the, the other thing i truly hate with it is that because it's an exo song or shiny like, you song have- could be a shiny song that's like yeah, uh, I think it's too it it's too mechanical for a shiny for a shiny song. EXO has done a song that literally sounds it's very very similar to this. I feel was like. it? Mm-hmm. It's it a B side. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's very mechanical sounding. I think yeah yeah like it's too mecha- for to me it's a little too mechanical sounding for shiny. Yeah, but, but then the again, shiny that- can do everybody though. And that's very true, but it's, it's very, very like early yeah, shiny. It's, sure, it's early shiny. If anything, not what not like this era of shiny. Yeah. This sounds exactly like a song EXO would have put out in 2019 if we had EXO in 2019. Yeah, probably like one of those. The thing, maybe one but, of those things like they just felt like they didn't want to get but to EXO, and they're like, to we go don't back to, to the. It, so we'll well, it's, a, to go it's back not to the good point enough I was of a to... song for EXO, so they gave it to NCT instead. Exactly. Is that, is the, EXO went into the military, that. and this is what happened. Like, oh, we got to go back to today. For whatever reason. To get back to the point I was trying to make, though, uh, this is sort of also the beginning of a trend that we would see that gets worse with NCT, which is I'm like, this is, I think, probably one of the last times we actually get a sung chorus by NCT. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, I'm like, right. holy shit. Oh, my God. NCT can sing. And then, you know, the rappers come in for way too long. And maybe that's why I like the song long. in the beginning, because it actually allowed the singers to sing more. But the other thing is that they drown out the good singers with the bad singers. Mm-hmm. And then you realize NCT does not have enough good singers to be an EXO. Mm-hmm. EXO has what I will give every previous, like, I will always praise Tail, your Doyeon, Hey Chan. They're good singers in NCT. Mm-hmm. That's three people. There are eight not how many people are in nct 127 again 10 10 there are 10 people it's like maybe they're nine nine i don't i don't actually you you never know there's always the the lineup of but what i'm saying is that in like those three are phenomenal singers everyone else is either a rapper or not a good singer they're 10 if you count win win they're nine if you don't count win win (laughs) And I think Win Win is still here. He's still a fish, quote unquote, officially. And I think technically in, in this song, Win Win is still here. He's... So Win Win technically here. No, I don't I'm, think but... he is. <coughs> I think he left no, after I don't Simon think he... says. Simon, so whenever yeah, Simon, Simon says, says this is last song. So this is right after that. Never mind. So Win Win's not here. But what I'm saying is that like you keep like this song fits none of their strengths. When you get individual vocal parts in the song, I enjoy them. Mm-hmm. But it's almost the fact that we also learned that, like, NCT's big problem is that, like, they can't... The reason I don't think they do vocal choruses anymore is because they kind of don't have enough great vocalists. Well, the other... They They got three. I think is they do. And there's ten of them. They clearly do, is that the fact that they have half of their vocalists now just rapping. Rappers! Rapping for no reason at all. But also, they weren't that good a vocalist to begin with. Like, Jungwoo? Eh. Well, like no, Jay Hyun. Jay Hyun was a perfectly fine Jay vocalist fine. who was now perfectly a rapper fine. for some who reason. Who was now a rapper? But like when when the rest of your rappers are like Johnny and Yuta, who I don't know what they're what they do at all to begin with. Like, are they rappers? Are they vocalists? Are they Who's neither? Are they both? Who's to say? I just think NCT is a group that was like patchwork between the old SM model and the new SM model, and don't f- doesn't fit either of them. They don't have good enough rappers. They don't have enough good. Vo- they don't have enough vocalists yeah. to be a traditional, t- a traditional SM group. I. Uh, they got like they got really ten the people in that me. group, and how many of them are contributing like close to nothing to the overall? Too many. Yeah. Honestly, you could cu- you could cut NCT One Twenty Seven to a perfectly serviceable five member group easily. Three vocalists. Yeah, I think without this NCT concept. Most of these guys probably wouldn't be in a group under SM, honestly. I'm surprised no, some of these people honestly, made it into NCT. Honestly, I think a lot of... Th- and honestly, I don't know how much they, some of them may regret their decision. Again, I also don't know... SM's future seems 
like a dark, dark hole for boy groups now. It does. And it upsets well, me. Well, now that they have established that they plan to add 15 more people to NCT, then it's like, Which this again, is, this what is happens the SM boy group yeah. now. Like, this is all we got But, like, the at this point, how do you feel being the 40th person added to NCT? Yeah. You're NCT member number 40. Yeah. It's like, like it's what, gonna what, get a, what it's gonna get to a have? point in this group's history where there's like eras, like fan eras, where it's like your old because eventually NCT people are gonna fans. have to yeah. fucking leave. Exactly. Yeah. Was I a twenty? Oh god, we already have that because you have the people that are like, well, I came in at like twenty twenty one with the fucking Shotaro I'm, Sung yeah, Chan. Yeah, I was gonna say, all. I'm sure there are people who came in with Sotoro and Sung Chan and are like looking at and again, what have they been like, doing? Who cares? <laughs> God, the one thing I'll give yeah. the song is remember at least in, in the superhuman era when things were a little simpler, mm -hmm. when we could at least at that point delude ourselves into thinking that like SM would come to their senses. Yeah, because that's the I one mean, thing Isuman I'll give this era. bounced so already. Isuman's left the company back in so. But Isuman, Isuman's been slowly trying to bounce for like five years. So I feel like, like it makes me feel like the way. NCT thing, maybe not his big idea, someone else's big idea. I mean, the, I mean, looking at the stuff Isuman has produced, when you reach the <clears throat> NCT era, it is beyond, like, I don't know. It's just, this is sort of, I think, truly a, the start of every SM group must sound the same. Yes. Mm -hmm. It was, it's, it's not in the way that it was, like, this is not the sound they're doing. Would have been no. better if this was the sound they were doing. Yeah, but I would have preferred this yeah. than Sticker. Absolutely. I would have preferred this than the two baddies, two baddies, yeah, what the one fuck Porsche. was Sticker? What I will say, they do have a slight reprieve when we do get right after this, we get Kick It. Kick It, fine. Kick It is very everything typical. Else, I do not care about Kick It at all. That to me, I think it was Kick It that was the start there, of it like, really being like, uh. Nah, I, th I enjoyed Kick It, but after that, you get yeah. punch. After that is Punch. And that's really where we've gone to shit. Because we get Punch, you get Sticker, you get them doing another another uh, EXO song with Favorite Vampire, mm -hmm. which is just, I think, a, truly, I think, an EXO song that they took out of a back catalog in a cabinet some in, in some intern's office at SM that should have been a 2017 EXO song. Truly, it sounds like that. And I 100% believe it happened. Oh, I bet. And I bet my money on it. And then you get two baddies. And now we're here, and I cry for the future of and yet whatever. people somehow still like this shit. I don't get it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. A lot of people eh. still like this A shit. A lot of people the do. Sad part. They're very popular. Yeah. I don't understand because right. I'm just like I, I don't. And here we are with eight more songs eight that more we hate songs. more than this. Is only number nine. So moving on at number eight, we have "I'm a Star" by Wusak and Guanlin. <laughs> This is a weird song for me because I don't why I don't fully hate it, but I also don't love it, and I'm just confused by it. You know, I want to know I'm the logic confused. of putting these Who two people in a song. this was a good idea? Why make Why make this a subunit to begin with? Exactly. So I, think I was like, this is what also why, like, what's his name? Quanlin. Quanlin decided Quang to leave because he was like, you gotta put me in a fucking subunit. Well, the other Ooh. thing with Quanlin is like, Quang I don't think Quanlin particularly wanted to be an idol. The boy always seemed Quanlin much Quanlin made it into one one back... because he was like very endearing. And, like he did not make it into that group due to skill even a little bit. It was he got no, the, the edit of he was really bad and he tried really hard and he improved. Like good for him. He's that he was that he was that storyline for that season. But it's he's, like but and it's very... a nice storyline to watch, but like my god, he's a decent actor in China, thrive boy. Yeah. But his talent level was never up there. If so they I think had like cube... thrown him in an actual cube boy group after this, he I could, think that would have been he fine. He could be there, but to put him in a subunit with Busuk of Pentagon, it's like. But here's the other what are thing: we doing? Is that Cube has yet to put out another boy group since Pentagon. Period. Yeah, that's right. What? Which is a very weird sentence because Pentagon's freaking old now. We're going on year seven of yeah. no Q boy Yeah, we're on year seven of Pentagon. It is and weird. Got Don't you nothing. mention that. And, but and I mean, saying? we're about to get the announcement of the Pentagon disbandment on Voice Planet 999. On Voice Planet. Maybe, so. That's how that's gonna work. But just like they did with CLC. Mm -hmm. 
But I guess this is how Q likes to make snapments taking... now. Just shove someone from one of their former groups into a just put show someone and on then... a Do, do, do the announcement for us, planet. child. Do the announcement for us. It's like, Terrible. who knows? I'm still confused as to why we decided to do this or agreed to do this i i just don't i don't I anyways think back to well, i'm a star we will discuss that on a different episode but why are we just doing why have we decided to put two mediocre rappers together D- oh, mediocre to bad mediocre yeah was probably mediocre the worst rapper in rapper one one Woosuk even is not Woosuk has a very particular style yeah. and the style of just chill rap is not his style. No, Woosuk is very wants intense. to come in like a fucking hurricane. Yeah. And leave like one and everyone else in Pentagon is like bringing it down. And if this is like a full almost well, it's a full rap song it's a full they, rap they song because neither have of them to can sing, sing the chorus and it is just very sing? weird. It's very confusing. Fine. Do we call that singing it's, though? Um, it's yeah. not rapping, it's so not it's rapping. something in between. <laughs> it, it feels more like a cuz like there's a tune to it, but I wouldn't call it singing. Like traditional singing. Yeah, it's just uh, it, yeah, it's a I choice. Don't know. It's a de- it's a de- it's a choice. I mean, it I'll was a choice it. for them to put Qualin Kwa- into a subunit with some of someone. From Again, a I truly think that they realized that unlike he most of the members of Wano One, so. they did one. They didn't have a boy to put him in, and two, the boy can't be a soloist because he would then need to be a solo rapper, and he does not have the skills to be a solo rapper. Yeah, he also does not have the skills to be a solo singer. What he does have the skills for is to do what he did end up doing, which is immediately bouncing, going back to China and becoming an actor, which is, I think, probably what he wanted to do. The other thing I kind of get out of this is it kind of seems like neither of them have their hearts in it. Mm -hmm. That's the other thing with it is that this doesn't seem like anyone's. There's a. I imagine Woolsack must of... be kind of peeved because he probably wanted a solo and now it's like. What did he want with it? He like, might have. I don't know because. And then it's like, oh, oh I'm shoving to the sub sub unit. later then also be sucks. in a very like, bad subunit. Uh, subunit. Yeah. Yes. That weird that Pentagon was... subunit that is awful. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. This was. I mean, I kind of. Like, in, in terms of music, I kind of understand why Cube did what they did. It just kind of led to very mediocre to bad results. But I don't know, you know how you get presented this recording and er, and see it as, nah, this is going to be a hit. Here's my thing is that it, it doesn't wasn't. even make sense that they made this a subunit to begin with. Because what I was really confused about at the time is Cube had another trainee named Sunho who was also in Produce 101. Mm. I was mm-hmm. very, and he is a vocalist. Why didn't yes. they put Guanlin and him in a subunit together? Because that would be a duo, and then they would have to make a boy group around both yeah, of them. Yeah, they probably didn't they, want to do they a They would not, duo. because it. multiple people have, like, multiple companies have just released a special song where it's like, here are these two kids who are on a survival Fair. show, they're gonna release a song, like, again, they don't need I to be a this permanent inf- duo. I think they probably wanted the brand recognition of a, then again, I feel like the brand recognition of a Pentagon member and a produce But yeah, at that point, Guanlin's brand equal. recognition is way more than Wu sucks and Pentagon yeah, exactly. is. So. Exactly. But are we then thinking that they're doing this to increase Pentagon? Because truly, mm, I don't sure. know. Cube, Cube's plan for Pentagon has been cu- more confusing every time I look at it. Because this was also after when um Dawn left, right? Uh, yeah, sometime after? Gone by 2019. Is that right? Or is this before then? It's probably No, he's then. gone by 2019. He's gone by this point. Oh, okay, so he is gone by this point. So maybe that's what they're doing. They're just kind of like, oh, we still want to ride the Pentagon high, so let's chuck one of our members who's a rapper with this other rapper child that we have. It just, Weird choices, kind of choices that were clumsy made. execution and for me. Much like everything, much like everything else on all of our worst lists, when we say like we're going into the specifics of like why did we even do this? Uh, to begin with, it sounds like shit. Like everything, like all of the songs we have on our worst list, it just sounds bad. We don't like the way it sounds. That's the that's as bad as it truly. Yeah, this is a weird song for me. I don't hate it, it but is. it's just a weird song that just doesn't mesh well together overall. So next we, I think now we're truly getting into the really bad territory of like why we have XOSC's <laughs> "What a Life." <laughs> Another 
one that I th- hate. I don't want to talk about this song. <sighs> yeah, I this doesn't. That. This is not that good at all. We got all. another. But like, also, like at the same the time, there is no way SM would have let these two ever bad, be solo bad, debuts. Bad there was no fucking way. No, so not I guess apparently again, they thought this was a better alternative. Put both of them with a vocalist. Yeah. Put both of them with a freaking vocalist. They should have done like a CBS kind the- of situation where they pulled someone else and then maybe stuck those two or one of those two into a trio group, which Again, for some reason they didn't that, do. No, I, I truly think that they need they need a vocalist to balance them out. Yeah. They are going to drag unit. down whatever exo vocalist, vocalist they added yes, to that trio. Absolutely. Like so much is the person But like, let's yeah. be yeah. honest, CBS, you don't get a better exo subunit than CBX, the three best vocalists in that group. No. Just making songs. You don't get a better trio than that. Yeah. But I think that you could make fun songs with them and a vocalist. I don't know who, if you though. Give the vocalist who, like, a which lot of the EXO the vocalists would you put? I don't know. Becky. I, I was going to say Becky. Actually, Becky like, probably would be the best. Yeah, would work. Beck, give me a Becky and Chanyeol subunit. Yeah. Also, uh, a thing Kayla and I had an observation with between this and the last song is that these are just failed prototypes for uh, Astro, Jinjin, and Rocky. Uh, yeah. They're both trying essentially, to do yeah. what Jinjin and Rocky perfected. We also realized Infin- Infinite H was the original version of that, and Infinite then it's H- like we yes. failed at making then it, get it down several grade. times. Yeah. Like, between I think, and Rocky. like, here's the thing. I think you get Infinite H, which is good. You downgrade to Wusuk and Guanglin and uh, SC, and then you upgrade again to Jinjin back and to Rocky. Jinjin and Rocky, who I think have perfected it. Mm-hmm. It's perfect. I, I think it's we just, got, it's I just think like we, one of those things that these two are just not good wave. vocalists. They're not the best rappers. These they're SM rappers, so they're not going to be that good. Like, and it's like, yeah, no, the production's kind of eh on this song. I'm just like, eh, Exo, it's giving nothing. The thing with it is that they're such not good rappers that they have to rap over what some of the simplest fucking beats I've ever heard. It's like just very really simple, simple beats. beats. The same really and they gotta simple. like on a loop. You gotta like walk. Song. They have it's to like think, the someone has to like hold. Their I mean, at least I don't like, know too many people like, who love on, this song do, though. Do, do, to be honest, so I don't know. A lot but of they, people who like XOSC but they've had to comebacks. begin with, really. <laughs> but they are having comebacks. They, they keep do. having comebacks, so I mean, clearly so the Korean the fans are Well, they sell out it. because of their EXO. That's their really EXO, and people got to complete really the EXO they collection. They have to be EXO. Again, honestly, they have to be good. Think, think about this, EXO fans. Replace Sehun with Baekhyun. Give yourselves a Baekhyun Chanyeol subunit. Infinitely better subunit, immediately. Mm-hmm. Plus. I don't know. Give me the fucking Kai Sehun subunit. That's what I was going to say. I was like, you could also throw Kai in there and maybe that adds some Kai in there. Kai can sing more than Sehun. So, like, there's potential there. But I don't know if it would turn out to be significantly better than XOSC, though. So I think it'd be, I think it would be better. If you have someone Probably would be better, but. It also I think if you give, like, it does. It does. I don't, yeah. I think that it becomes very, I think that if you gave. I think the music that Beckyun and and um, Chanyeol would make would be somewhat more of this like party vibe, similar to SC, in the vibes only, not the sound huh. vibes only, because I don't think it would be that simple of a beat. But I think the music that Kai and Sehun would make would be a little closer to what Kai solos are. That that vibe. Yeah. Sure. And I think Maybe, infinitely yeah. we are better because off. Because Chanyeol can't do that vibe. Chanyeol sure. can't. I and can also Beckyon. And, yeah, Chanyeol makes. Yeah, Beckyon. I mean, Chai what's his name? Beckyon and um, Sehun could definitely way. make make themselves sexy if they need to. They could copy Kai in that. They way. They could, but I'm just saying. But I'm just saying in terms of the subunits that I think that if we were to divide this up and make be- and make everything better. I think if we keep this concept for Beckyun and Chanyeol, we give Kai solo music to Sehun and Kai, we've ended up with a slightly better world. Maybe not an infinitely better world, but a slightly better world of music. I Have we not? Chanyeol and Beckyun also not, God. I mean, leaning more into the fun, like, like we're leaning closer towards, like, what Jinjin and Rocky also, are. Yeah. Even also, this, I like that this music is so uninteresting. We have delved into the tangent of better exo subunits. <laughs> like, how do you make, make this, but, like, so it's not as bad. Yeah. Honestly, because like there's oh really God. nothing to say about it other than it's honestly, sound- it's this, this is just giving shit. SM. Neither what it's giving is Neither SM didn't want these rap. two to be solo, so they're like, well, you two are the only they ones that don't solo. Be a group together. What but do like do, weirdly, you know? Chanyeol, <laughs> Chanyeol has one of the most successful uh, K drama OSTs. That is right. That, that, that is right. Ha- him for and Goblin. Punch did. 
for Goblin, yeah. they did uh, what is it called? Uh, he did it with the singer with Punch. Me. They did with, they did stay with me. Yeah. Uh, that song is phenomenal. Why the fu- like if so? He, he did, did sound t- a, he sounded decent in that vocalist. one too. So he sounded decent because they gave him a decent song, and also K Drama OSTs are a very very different kind of song. That's also, Rest Up Entertainment didn't have any part in that song. That's so that's, that's also, also part big, of the problem. Part of it. But also, like I feel it like that would have been was... an indication to SM to be like, maybe let's if we're gonna do something, do a subunit with him and another vocalist. And here's but the apparently thing. that didn't click. And let's apparently. be honest here, and also let's be honest here for that to work. Punch did a lot of the heavy lifting on that song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She did most of the heavy lifting on that song. But that would be how you make a subunit with an S, specifically an SM rapper work. Yeah. If you have SM rappers, they need to very specifically be doing one thing. Look at another subunit that has not two rappers, but one rapper, one SM rapper, D&E. D&E has a rapper in it. You put them with a vocalist, maybe not their best vocalist, and give them the right songs, and it worked. SM has done this better before. They have. It's just that they kind of didn't put enough effort into it and didn't put the right people in yeah. it. I think that if they would have done more of a D&E style subunit, maybe D&E don't put their... Because D&E is also at their, some of their best when they're more fun as well. It is. Yeah. Like, when you have that, like, you're, that's like your type of people where you're doing rappers, I was like... Yeah, especially if you're SM Entertainment, like you like have maybe to make you it don't need like your you powerhouse vocalist like Beckyun, but I also think that someone like I don't know fucking Suho even yeah Suho oh get God. him away from the get him like, away Suho, from the board balance Young, make him have Chen, some fun give him some like, like Schumann D- like, hell maybe even shove Dio in something Do, like Dio, fuck I don't if care. he's not busy doing acting shove him in a fucking subunit yeah I think you just needed to make this not two rappers yeah. Uh, well, uh, maybe not the best birthday for us, at least, but, uh, Somi seems happy about it. It is, uh, our next one at number six is Birthday by Somi. Her debut. I'm a shake it, shake it, shake it like you want my birthday. Under the black label, under YG so, Entertainment. Yeah, so, this was um. Somi leaves JYP a weird song. to do this. Weird she production on the chorus. That I just don't vibe with at all. Like, just don't. It's not my vibe. Again, I think the production starts from line one, which is just her going for a good solid ten seconds. That's a solid ten seconds of the song, you're, you're and that's right, the I first impression that. you get. <laughs> That's the first impression you get of this girl solo music post IOI is that. Oh, yeah, so like right. I think the production choices oh begin God. from second one. <laughs> and continue till like minute three. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is just so like funny. it's just like I it see music yeah. but a little bit different. <laughs> it's all but a you little know, bit. I guess and, she and still has a lot some of JYP influence in her, you know? Look at that. Look at that. I don't know. I <laughs> the thing with Somi, and I think it's also part of her inflection issue, is she always kind of sounds like a bratty child. <laughs> that, it is just the way she, she sings, sings like a bratty the, child. Every single one of her songs sounds We're not like saying she's a brat in, in real life, but the way she was taught to sing makes her sound like a brat. inflection in her voice. The it's just, the, it's just voice. the way that she sings songs. It is very bizarre. Especially considering that she is 15 also. Like, she is a child. Well, she was 15 at the time, right? Yeah, she was 15 at the time. Like, she yeah. was a child Still at the time. Still a child. So, like, I guess checks out. But She was 18. But also, there are 15-year-olds in Cable that don't when sound that like Braddy Joe. She was? She looks She's 15. 21 She seems now. 15. Oh, my God. She's giving child vibe. She's giving. Oh, she was 15 when Iowa debuted. That's yeah, what it was. Yeah, I was about to say. This is two years later. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, because she was quiet for a little bit after she joined the Black Label. Well, she was supposed Again, to be I, Itzy, and then that fell through somehow. And that didn't and work out. It was pretty clear she was door. supposed to be an Itzy, probably. Yeah. So, but like, honestly, I think Itzy's better for it because, like, I mean, we would not not we with, would not have gotten Yuna for that reason, and we like, have Yuna. Even so taking that's that good. away, even we taking that away, but just looking at post IOI groups that had an IOI member, 
NCs a five person group. You can't push one member to the forefront in a five person group. There's not enough people. Yeah. Like it would have been the so me and friends show. Mm-hmm. I have a feeling. Mm-hmm. And like I think that's bad for both people involved. For the other girls and for Somi. Yeah. As we can see from a lot of other post-produce groups that tend to push one member forward. The thing I kind of also find very interesting is uh, when YG, and this is the black label, but it's still YG conglomerate. Teddy Park is involved in the production. Teddy is involved. Yeah. Teddy, who, not convinced he hasn't been dead for years, making black pink songs. He did did show up apparently in the, um, I saw with my own eyes, he showed up in uh, the black pink um, documentary on Netflix. So he's alive. Hey, he could, that could be an AI. He, he was wearing know. a mask. AIs are very So you're saying he's going to be Megan. You don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> he's no, Megan. I didn't say robot. Minus the killing. Say, minus the killing. Hey, um, I didn't say robot. I said, I, I mean Well, robots have AI. They have to have AI. No, 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 no. I, I mean entirely post-production hologram shit. I don't oh. think... I, like, I never said robot. He didn't that's, look like a hologram a in the uh, documentary, so he looks like a robot. Hey, those you would never know in a documentary CGI does so many good things. <laughs> but, uh, back to this. How do you do a fucking sh- How do you fuck a YG ending chorus with one girl? I don't know. She's, it's the same, the structure is the same as a YG, like, ending shouting chorus, it's just that she's one person, and so it kind also, of Also, really we're not flat. invited to her birthday. Why are we not invited oh, to her birthday? I'd be party. freaking great I'll at your birthday party, to. so me. I would lit. I would. I would make sure shit's lit there. I'd be pumping some good music. Even How just, are we not invited to your even birthday? Even just girl? The, the, the lyrics of "Come on, uh, don't make it too exclusive." You're not invited to my birthday. Shit. Just doesn't help the petulant child vibes. Yeah, no. I, I make just your party the topic sick of the song birthday, doesn't so help. Me. I don't know. Just saying. <laughs> So what's what's interesting to me and like the way that she sings is that one of her biggest problems singing why she's had since Produce 101 is that she was consistently told that she doesn't have any emotion when she sings. Oh, and it's almost as if yeah. she like developed Took this that. style like specifically as like a to show more response. emotion. So not just to so so now that there's something, it sounds like there's something there. It's not necessarily There's something there. But that's Good, something but it sounds to be exactly put what I want. Than, but it is more than no emotion, like how she Look, used to sing. I'm going to give it this. If Somi would have been in an idol group, Somi would have been pushed to rapper in the way of like an, an idol girl group rapper. The thing is that she, like, like she's not good enough at either. She's yeah. not a good enough singer to be a main vocalist. She's not a good enough rapper to be shoved in a rapper category. Well, I see so her in the spot where she's like half um, talk singing, where she's like a ver- sub, like she's like a sub everything, she's a, where she's like yes. a sub rapper, sub and vocal, like, like lead dance or some shit, like one of those. And again, people, yeah. at least if she was in a girl group, she could like there'd be people around her, and she could be put at the forefront for the marketing value of having the IOI Center in it. Except now she's soloist. Yeah. So she's really got to rely on her skills. And that's where the problems lie. I, I will say, I think she has a skill set to be a soloist better than other, like, centers of produce before. Yeah, I think like, she, she is. Like, choice. as much Fair. as she is, like, kind of annoying, Fair. like, I, she does have stage presence. And she can, like, I feel like she can hold her own as a soloist a lot better than other people from produce that i've seen again i i i disagree with you in that way if i don't think she has the skill set to be a good soloist but she does have the skill set to be a soloist like, I well think, i guess like, to find good because good varies per she's, person like, interesting you know, at least in this it's case. like the concept she's doing she's at least doing it like some people have literally are giving yeah because some people still stream her shit her shit was popular like she had i don't know birth, birthday, I, don't think was, I don't know how good. popular birthday was but she had another song she put out that was like pretty popular but again P- maria by that logic people stream all these songs doesn't mean they're good no yeah i know that but you know, clearly it's selling to for some people. Her singing is selling for some people. It's not selling for us, but it's selling for someone, clearly. Kind of like how NCT is somehow that shit's and again, recently no, still selling nothing for Nothing of what we say on these lists mean that you should dislike a song. We're just saying we don't no, like yeah. it. Shall we move on? Yeah. Right. Something else somewhat produce related. Everything always goes back Everything to produce. Comes Somehow. Back to produce. Always gets connected Everything. to fucking Mnet. Um, that show has got like a hold on the entire K pop industry at this still. Point. Jesus Christ. It was a mistake. 
Yeah. It was a mis- that show. Looking back on it, was a fucking. Don't mistake. worry, we have produced a wig now. Which is funny because one of the members of this former group participated Caleb. is El Porta Kepler. Yeah, right, so number five, we have No by CLC. Red lip. No. So this is- Good song. No. Disbanded. Yes. So this That's song is post uh, black dress that CLC finally decided on like what their concept was somewhat going to be where they went into their uh, girl boss badass era. And this is the worst example. It's of giving it. I, they're trying to give classic giving... girl boss, but I don't know how classic. No, it is. this song. This is easily the worst. This, of this song that is giving entire... nothing. It's the giving entire saga of no songs. power. It's... it's giving no interest. It's giving lackluster. It's giving no personality. It's giving no quality. It's giving basic. It's, it's not giving. giving <laughs> it's not giving anything really. Is the no is pronounced so oddly in the song. But also by the end of so that oddly. song, I've heard the word <laughs> no so many times. The word no has no meaning. Like, it's, like, it's just an ether. Like, you know you say a word enough times, it just stops feeling like a real word? By the end of the song, I don't know what the word no is. I'm like, what? This song is just, just so... Seems... Sh- this is, like, really where the song sounds so bad. Bad. It just... It's so bad. And it's, like, it's partially because there is, like, nothing going on in the instrumental. So there is, there like, really absolutely isn't. no just consistent through line of the song. And... It's like a, one of those songs for me that borderlines on like b- barely being a song, because there's like so much just like it's weird really like talk that... rapping in it. Yeah, it's really giving the kind of song that you like. You listen to the whole thing, and by the end of it, I'm like, did any like? It's just like a white noise of something happening in front of you, where you're like, by the end, I'm like, what happened? Did I listen there to it? There were some production-based choices made in the song. I'm kind of like, when I it look just, back on it, so I liked initially, but safe. now I'm kind of like, you know, maybe that didn't pan out as well in the long run. Because, like, I agree maybe with what Kayla said, where it's like, here. there's no consistency in the production, but the production is so sparse and, like, nothing interesting is going yeah. on in those bits of nothing. That, it's like, just you nothing. You barely it's notice just, when the they change. Nothing You're are just, just, nothing. just like, what's, huh? Like, Again, it's like white noise. It, it like you're watching it, but nothing is like sticking. Nothing is like being processed by your brain. It just is occurring. Also, it's just very much a song like this, specifically for the, uh, for the topic of the song and everything, needs power. There's no power. Yeah, there needs to There's be more no nothing from There's them, and there wasn't enough. Going on. And it's them, like you get like. that in like, their other songs that are of this style, like yeah. Black Dress and like me. And like it's like me? you get something out of it at yeah. least. So I also dislike me because I think it's thing, but me is at least in a way more in your face. Yeah. And like that in your faceness, which usually is annoying. It's like respectable because better. the energy at least makes sense for that yeah, song. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. It's this. It's the same Doesn't mean song. it's good, but it's like the it's energy good, makes sense. But like there's a reason we picked this. And I think didn't me come out th- also this year? It didn't did. Me also it's come out this and yeah. Devil were all in the same year. Yeah, De- Devil, Devil probably was the probably their best song. Best, that year. best one. Devil honestly. is also pr- a bit different than the other different two. Different concept entirely. And me's like so the better version concept. of the concept that no yeah. is a to go better for. version of yeah. this. Black B Dress I think is the best iteration of Yeah, I agree. I agree. But, like, all, the thing both of those songs have is that they have an energy to them. There's a, like, Black Dress is the most best of the of that era. Yeah. But me, at least, is in your face. This is so low-key that I'm like, what are we getting from this? True. What are you doing? What is the point? Too low-key for its own good. All right. So next we have a song that is in your face. It's I'm So Hot by... Momo Land at number four. I'm so hot. So. 
Oh, yes. The song course. just sounds like shit. That's Song what the horn like is. Let's get it out of the way. Song sounds <laughs> like shit. We're on we're on what iteration of boom boom at this point now? Like how many <laughs> It's boom like, boom with horns we, with horns now? and brass and trumpet. It's boom boom with trumpets. It's again uh It's giving you no leaning chorus. too much into um Brave was it Brave Brothers, I think. Who did this song? Hey, don't insult Brave Brothers. Brave Brothers sing one of the best Brothers. AOA songs imaginable. I think I'm trying to remember who produced their um who produced Boom Boom for them, and I'm forgetting. I don't know, but um, what it's giving is that it's like uh, oh, sh- uh very much Tiger. Yeah, them. Yeah, it's like giving. But what it's it, giving it, it, is I, it's I, I giving. Say, but I'm watching this. I watched the music video, and it's like they look like they're being held hostage almost, and it's just like yeah, damn. Well, they're making Boom Boom <laughs> 15 by this point. Like they only make three ripoffs of Boom Boom. Really, they make Bam, and then they make I'm So Hot, and then they make Thumbs Up, and it gets worse every single time that they do it. Yes, mm-hmm. like it is yeah. just so like they they really got it on Boom Boom, and then each like iteration of it is just like a little something about what made boom boom like so like popular with the general public like something's missing like and more is missing each like like, the further we get away from it with it and here's was this when they also also was this when they kicked after they kicked out like two or three of the members or whatever i don't know but momo land each comeback had been losing members for different reasons like, well they like, added a couple members they had like a set number yeah, seven then they, they added some down. and then they got rid of those added members and now it's up the back to normal. by this point i don't know members. where we are at the timeline of momo land is holy it's is a, th- a thing in and of itself but what i'm saying with this is that like Boom Boom, the thing about being a one-hit wonder, because, again, being a one-hit wonder in K-pop is, like, a very rare thing. Usually you are able to extend that popularity out. I'm not saying that, like, they're unliked. Eh. By this point, the popularity is very much down. Yeah. But They've lost, like, all at of it, it at this point. The thing with a song like Boom Boom is Boom Boom can entirely be popular for dumb luck. Yeah. To try to essentially strike lightning in a bottle with a song so similar to what you'd already been doing that was popular for possibly dumb luck and for possibly external factors beyond your control is a very bad idea of how to extend a group's career. Mm -hmm. Because, like, you can't remake something that possibly was a success for no fault of your own. Yeah, this is just one... It's it's just just getting tired by this point. I'm just kind of like, why are we reverting? Also, like, remember, like... We talked about, like, different tropes, too, of, like, in our worstiest list for 2022, I'm thinking particularly with Rika Rika of how, or, like, even Heinke of how we're going back to, like, like, certain things that smaller companies, like, go for trope-wise to get attention, like, with, like, body appearances like and stuff quirky, like that, and, like, you mean, like, okay, the you're so girl hot, group? and it's, like, and, yeah, for girl groups. And this kind of, like, reminds me of I that. Mean, it's, I like, we're going back to that a little my bit. My thing with it is I don't I don't really view it in that way because between the styling and actually what the song really sounds like, it's not giving the same. What it's giving to me is trying to make the fun, quirky, almost uh, crayon pop style girl group. Yeah, except it doesn't because, go like, full crayon style. pop. Crayon pop. It doesn't. It's in this medium. It's like we're, it's but they're also still trying to be from, mainstream from popular. crayon pop. But because they had the boom boom thing, that was pretty well established. It's like that's the Momo Land style now. Yeah. And we're kind of yeah. stuck with that. But then they like, made they're not three going- more of the same song, but worse mm-hmm. every time. Yeah, because they're not going for, like, your high one key or your stellar or that kind of thing. Because, yes, it's called I'm So Hot, but, like, they're styled like your average girl group. They're, the song sounds not sexy in the slightest. I think it's more of a trope. Yeah, it's, it's like, definitely yeah. not yeah. going of, like, sexy. Lower. It's definitely more It's not going quirky. sexy at all. Yeah. I think they're trying to be quirky, but also they're trying to be quirky with some of the most, like... Th- this song sounds. It's just gi- it's giving. Of, I'm it not like other girls sound. quirky though, which is like you're not really that quirky. Like you're not as well, quirky. Yeah. As that's the <laughs> I'm sorry. It it's just like it's that's what it's giving to me. It's just like. Well, that's. I, the, I mean, that's a that's choice of a concept, but like. The beginning. I don't know. It's just it's giving forgettable. It. It's just giving very forgettable, and the horns are. It annoying. is because why I would mean, I listen? Especially again, when this we're is another the problem. third iteration of the same thing. Yeah, like why would I listen to this over just listening to Boom again? Because it's the same song, and I don't have to listen to the annoying, badly put together horn line. Yeah. All right. All right. So number numero tres. Number 
three. Yep. Number three. You know, we can't go through a worst list without including these guys somewhere in a worst list at some point. Uh, we got uh, Double Knot. enough of them already. Double Knot by Straight Kids. Because, yeah, so stray kids. Just the um, of the I end just, I just, this is the uh, beginning of the end. Beginning of the end for stray kids. So we um had this. We could not decide between the English and the Korean version because there's two versions of the song. There's an English version and the Korean version. Both of them are shitty. Both of them are terrible. Yeah. But um, they <laughs> sound. I. This is truly the beginning of noise of the Stray Kids noise era. For me, I liked Stray Kids up to like um what was it? Psychosis or side effects, sorry, side, side effects. effects. And then after that, everything else I was just like not a fan of. For that a was like right song, before like, this. Right before this <laughs> this yeah. is the song right before this. So yeah, like, this I like the side effects. Of I like the production on side effects a lot, and I was fine with that. I oh, hate side uh, effects. Double we not did not. was where I was just like, okay, I don't we care. I don't give a shit. Did not like side effects. Uh, this is also the beginning of Stray Kids realizing that no one can sing. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to yell. <laughs> we're going to yell the whole chorus. We're just going to yell basically the whole song. Everyone's just going to yell. Everyone's going to be really loud. For Everything in the production is going to be really loud. I we're going to sing at the top of our fucking lungs and yell. Just everything is going to be so Because I'm also like, why are you guys angry? It's not giving me enough justification in the song to be like, why are you angry? I also need Bang Chan to not write English lyrics ever again. Even though he is Bang Chan, you're he's from Australia. English, has has do this English but like man, my God, does he not write good English lyrics? Uh, and I also true. hate that every time he puts the word color in the lyrics, they put the subtitles as Australian spelling of color because the of the they Australian do. English spelling. You mean of color, which the is British spelling, U. which is just color. oh, there's but a U in color. One. Oh, but also I don't Shit. like the fact that we have to point it out every time. Every time, because why we, we have must to be make it a point of the Australian of it all. We must be reminded of well, the Australian. It's like no shit. He's gonna everything. write it with a U in it. Like, no fucking shit. He's from Australia. It's like, but duh. Know. Also just, duh. You know, taking, away, duh. taking away the lyrics. I don't know why we have to point away... out the subtitles, but like, duh, it's gonna be great what they do in it. But also I taking think away the, the, the lyrics. Kingdom rap where he rhymes color with the U with, with the letter U. U. I with think that's U. really what annoys me yeah. more now in retrospect that, that he was Fair. also doing that. Oh. Um, but like, taking away the lyrics. Taking away all of that just sounds bad sounds really bad they just sound like they're not having fun which again is only the only time i've ever really liked stray kids is that there was this era of stray kids where they sounded like they were having a good time this is the end of and that. this is the ending this is th this has ended stray kids will never sound like they're having fun again mm -hmm. rip it's rip just fun that they're so kids. they gotta be so intense they got so self-serious like they got so self They gotta self be so serious. intense. They have about a lot of feelings that, that they make multiple intense. releases. They have a each lot of air to, uh... But here's the thing yeah. there's a lot of K pop groups that go on the intensity. I'm thinking like your uh like BTS has a lot of very intense songs. Mm -hmm. BAP had a lot of intensity. B like I'm thinking of the very much rap based ones. Uh but you know what they also had to balance that out? Vocalists! I I, that's not the what I was gonna. I okay, but so they had, they had the fun songs. That's I mean, also that's vocalists, also, but also they had a lot of fun. True, you know what? Both, All, those both things, of those things are true. correct. Both of the. Wait, hold on. What was the other thing you, you said? To... I totally missed it. Fun, just fun. Fun, fun. fun. yeah, just fun. fun. <laughs> just fun. A good time. Something to balance out the depravity of the. It's like world. they seem to be Something like perpetually angry joy. frat boys, and it's like, guys, why are you angry? Not even frat boys. I know you can be upset, but like. You know who else has a lot of intense songs? Icon's got some sad bitch, but you know what? They sometimes they know how to bring the frat boy energy. Speaking of who we call our affectionately call our K-pop frat boys, <laughs> Icon are K-pop frat boys, and I love that for them. They just seem so self serious. They seem like they that they there's do. they have a lot of very deep thoughts that they have to get out there. Only they're like twenty one, so like how deep are you at twenty one? <laughs> Well, got, like, we um, could think that like, we're like, deep. Like, not young when adult, we're smoking weed it's or something. It's not young adult, it's like, like new adult. If they got a lot of angst. They got a lot it's of like, angst. It's not like teen, it's They're not too teen, old for angst, teen angst. It's like young adult, new yeah. adult yeah. angst. 
it, but they're expressing new adult angst as if they are 15. It's yeah. just like there's there's a there's a lot going on there. Cuz even like we've oh, we've like talked about how they're they're more recent songs like their 2022 songs they're not as bad. No, no I like they, I actually they, liked Maniac. Like, it's been toned Surprisingly, down. I like, like Maniac. Like they come the, the the angst has settled down to just be But the, the angst looks like that's finally settling the angst a little is settling. bit. Yeah. They're finally realizing, "Hey, we're in our 20s. There's only so much we can do about life." Cool. But I think this was like the peak angst, and then they rode that out a couple. And that, hours those were not <laughs> fun years. So I will tell you that right now. Yes. Anyone who no, looks at me really. in the face and says God's menu is a good slot, I just kind of want to look at them and be like, bro, like, bro, no. So the one that really gets no. me is just five, that five, makes five, me want to like curl into a ball and just like re <laughs> the whole fucking time. I'm just like, oh my god, no. But double knots is a precursor to that. Somehow. Yeah, that will not be gay in that phase. No. Definitely is. Anyways, um, but that's not the only shit All we right. have on this list. We got two more songs that are worse. We got two more songs. So number two, we got a, a really, Ooh. really shit song from an otherwise decent K pop yes. group. Uh we have a Buenos Aries by Eyes One. <laughs> The lesson is so don't do Japanese uh, songs for produce groups, I guess. Well, no, here's the thing. They, I no, 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 because they did make a good Japanese They actually they did make decent. They, they they there were actually a couple songs they made, they made that were decent. But, like, after those couple songs. One. One. Yeah. They made one. Because they, they did four one. of them, and three of them were really bad. Because um, uh. we, we had to pick between this and Vampire, and both of those are shitty. <laughs> Uh, both they, of them are so their, bad. Their first <laughs> really song, bad. which I forget what it's called, because it's actually a really long time. It's Suki Tell That one, that one is one of my favorite yeah. really nice one songs that they that ever song made. That song great. is great. I don't understand but that like two songs the they released as shit. like a single release in Japan the first time. That was like great. I like them both. And then after that, everything J- Japanese wise was shit. shit. They took a hard and I was just like, what happened? And they were all what just happened so bad. with the production. What I will say. And what I, because the production to start with sounds terrible. God, um, it does not sound that, professional. Um, it's like what happened? It go. It went so. They went so. I will far tell you. Well, I also tell you. J- told me it's so far. AKB48 has with no significantly K-pop. better songs than this. Like significantly better songs. I'm like, what kind of rejected AKB48 song is this? Where they barely tried this with anything. This sounds like a. Because again, Holy AKB shit. almost does it. AKB is almost. It almost feels, feels like intentional sabotage. Yeah. To the AKB. I'm like, like, what the hell? hell? They realize that they're too good even in Japanese, and they're like, we're never giving them good songs again. Because the first well, one was really good. because they, they were maybe sad that they stole their most popular members from them for two Fair and enough. a half years. But um, looking at it is that these girls are essentially now singing in a style that is not their own at all because they're singing very j-pop-ish they're singing a pitch higher than i've ever heard any of them sing yeah for some reason it's the worst singing... any of them have ever they, sounded they sound so in their bad. careers Even they sound the truly Japanese bad, so terrible one. On yeah. like sakura and nako and i forget the other one's name he told me he told, told me they all they sound, sound worse so than i've ever heard them they sound great they they're not like so the bad. vocalists of the group but still they're they not, sounded better they, they sounded much the better they sound so much better in their korean yeah they're speaking in their native language these girls a lot of they sound girls, better in their own akb 48 maybe... group songs like what the hell is it, this i think that they're singing like, very similar to how akb girls sing but i also think i've heard significant better though J- i can't think of any that are this j-pop terrible. singing this this is pure j-pop singing being given to girls that one were never trained to sing like this because they're singing a pitch higher than usual and everything just sounds the production sounds shit around them. <laughs> the, the production is so bad shit. I can't like fathom how I fucking wanna, bad this is. We don't is. usually talk about music videos because music videos Ugh. are most mostly competent. Uh, this music video is not competent. This music at video all. is blown. This music video they look like they're blending into the white walls <laughs> in the background with how blown out the it's lighting like the is. overexposure of they the light. Look it's so, so bad. bad. <laughs> Every the single one of their so Japanese bad. music videos also was made the exact same way, where it's just, it looks so yes. terrible and, like, very low quality. It, the thing with it is, 
Except for that first one. That first one makes me question <laughs> what the hell happened in Japan. Well, well they're like, we we need to cut like our losses. In, we need to save some money Halloween here. Costume. I'm like, what the hell? I don't like. We just they just wasted so much time in Japan for no this reason. Music and for what? Like for why? They, we could have gotten another comeback if they would have just condensed the amount. All of the, if we get like, rid just, of all the if we just got rid of at least one no, of these we, songs. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, I, if I could pick one Eyes One Korean comeback to just get rid of even that good one just get rid of all four of them i think we'd be better for it we would just yes get and it's like that is like a common thing among like even the eyes one fandom where it's like we don't talk about the Japanese that didn't happen we don't talk about bruno we don't talk it about the not, sh- whack not ass canon, it we just... it's except just for the not... one good one the one good yeah, one we'll talk one about the rest of them we forget accept it. the good one that good one is really Forget good. It though. is, which That's like baffles problem. me really even good. more. Like how they did such a hard turn the shit. I'm like, what? It's so. It was clearly a stylistic yeah. choice made so, by someone, someone who managed their Japanese stuff. Decided we're gonna do this instead. Again, my and it was a piss it poor is, decision. I don't know how. I don't know how the eyes won that first song did in Japan. Because what it seems like is that song seems very. And this is not a term that would come about for years, obviously. But KJ pop. We could say no, but it feels KJ pop. That, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is like that it feels very KJ pop. This the rest of them all feel pure J pop. And I don't know if perhaps the song did not do as well in Japan as they had wanted it to, and possibly they're like well, let's just see if we go a more traditional J-pop route people would, in Japan specifically, would enjoy Yeah, but there's significantly better J-pop than this. This is really shitty J-pop. Yeah, but, like, Like, shitty K-pop gets popular. Shitty J-pop might also get popular. Maybe, but, like, honestly, it's it's still a choice for them. Because, like, I'm not just saying that because I I like certain types of J-pop. There's better J-pop than this. I'm just trying to understand why it was done. Yeah. And the only thing I can think of is possibly just a change in is a money thing is the only thing i can think of for such a harsh left turn it has to be because there's like literally no other reason i can think of where i'm thinking possibly that other one that kj (coughs) that kj poppy first one maybe it was too ahead of its time maybe it was too ahead of its time kayla maybe (sighs) so there's a song that we hate even more than that one that I think has divided fandoms when it first came out because my God, where are the people out, talking? I think, honestly, about this. honestly, I think by this point, I think most it's people, people have it. It's it's nobody knows it what it means, but it's provocative. It gets the people going, <laughs> it gets the people but, going uh, all the time. But also, I think by this point, a lot of a lot of people have like time heals all wounds and many of them have admitted that it's not that good so number one is red velvet zimzalabim look uh, SM was all like, you know, let's song... do a magician thing, but like not fully magician, no, just only in the title. But let's make it wacky. Is it, but is it though? But is it, <laughs> is it a magician? magician it feels though? more like a three ring circus. Because it, feels <laughs> it might like as well be. Holy shit. And they're all a circus full of clowns. <laughs> We're the biggest Made clowns of them clowns. all because we still listen to it. Did, do we listen to it? I we did listen, listen to this, this for this. Not me. We only do it once to make this list. I mean, we had to remind ourselves how <laughs> bad did. it sounded. It was worse than I remember. It's infinitely worse than I. It's actually because I, I like had... this project, the Rev Love Festival thing, like the whole like the multi album project they did, and like the song. the rest of the EP that this song came from the... is really good. But then the title track is like, what the actual fuck were they thinking? And I enjoy Psycho from the project. Oh, man. I don't enjoy this. This feels like, again, this is in the long tradition of, because in a way it does kind of feel like your three songs jammed together into one song. Mm -hmm. The problem with this is that. It is one of those. All three of those songs, you can clearly tell this was written as one song with three distinct parts Mm -hmm. as opposed to mixing different songs together. Mm Mm-hmm. And the right. parts just feel like uh, you, they put a timer on a watch. And we're like, okay, when the timer runs out, we have to switch styles immediately. 
No transition. We just stop and start at a different style. Sammy, you have a way of your no words. Right I love reason. it. Because it's Thank accurate. You. And I'm just like very confused by this song. It's so they just weirdly stitched me. and fixed together. To a point where I'm like, like I get were... it, you want to be you want to be wacky and cool and whatever the fuck, but like it just doesn't make sense. Again, with many of these songs <sighs> that play with the structure, I'm I often wonder to ask the question of do you think you know better than traditional songwriting? You know, there's a reason songs have been written like this. Well, for I'm years. gonna recent SM re- things they that they do. do. Think about it, like I, I think about it in a way of just like you do know this that is very reminiscent of like modern it day. Is. It is. Again, human. between this and Superhuman, I think we've re- we've we've come to the nexus of current SM. This is where it began. We have. Oh lord, but like looking at it, you're like, again, I wonder. Like, do you know better than traditional songwriting? There's a reason songs have this specific structure and then have been for many a decade. You think you want to switch yeah. that now and you're going to make a better thing than that pride and true method? Maybe we should stop. Like, individually, stop. the productions think. I thought were pretty cool and unique. But when you really smush them like, together, it's just kind of, of like... song that I don't... A weird thing is there are Not bits great. of the song I don't think are terrible. But the problem is those bits last like 10 seconds and immediately shift to a different bit I think is terrible. Yeah. Also, Zim Zalabim means nothing. I think this the song takes a sharp turn after the dance break. The first chorus. Yeah. Oh. Like the, once the first chorus hits, yes. like the song never the recovers song, after that point. I think the song lulls you into false sense of security because I think up until that first chorus, it's a little more consistent. And then that first chorus hits, and you're really swapping like ten second, ten second chunks. Yeah, yeah. Because the part, it's like the pre-chorus of the song sounds like this could be okay, and maybe the first verse yeah. was a little weird. But then the chorus hits, and I'm like, this is um, not, not it. at all. But the other thing with it is that it just has one of the 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 chorus in a way is like the least interesting, and by interesting I mean with like the least going on part of the song. Because it really just is Zimzalabim with a very sparse Zimzalabim, beat underneath Zimzalabim, it. Zimzalabim, Zimzalabim. Yep. Th- and Zimzalabim is a nonsense word. At least in the yeah. context of a K-pop song, it means nothing. It could be replaced with any other like word. Like maybe a magician has said something. And it would something mean the same thing. Random like that to appear cool. But that's about it. it. But again, nothing about this song is giving magic. It's giving three ring circus. Yeah. Also, what I will say this, and this might also be a thing that SM would continue on later. This is the worst every member of this group has ever looked. Yeah, the yeah, style. So all over oh, the place. Red Velvet. I just not a fan like, of the what style. What happened that they have to style them this poorly? They look like they're just wearing, you know how like sometimes they're like in this discount bin, everything is a dollar, but you have to rummage through the discount bin to find different pieces. It's like they just grabbed something and yeah. were like, okay, all of you just wear this. They just it went truly into doesn't just blind. Make any se- like, like co- it's not cohesive, any, like ha- even a little but it's bit. It's not even cohesive in, any way. in the way of like, you can do a, a, like a mismatched concept if they all looked like there was a rhyme or reason to it like yeah. i understand i kind of what i think they're trying to go for which is like this is a fun circus party thing everyone kind of looks very different and i'm like but there needs to be some cohesion yeah there somewhere. isn't like cohesion connecting it together needs really to happen at all no, they need to either because they're all looking like they're i don't even think they're going to different events like they kind of just grabbed anything they could get their hands on, all of they could, and everything. They <laughs> and then could like get Stitch their hands fixed on. it together, and then just like here yep. you go, yep. wacky outfit, woo, woo for the circus, it's also wacky. for the freaks of the circus. Because it's, it's not even themed in a circus; no. it's just wacky for the sake of wacky. Yeah. It's like it's also more like theme park than it is a circus. Yeah, too. yeah, because like, they do have so the whole roller coaster. The, well, again, the Red Love Festival. It's yeah. the whole like they got a roller coaster in there going through the whole yeah, music video, it and it's seemed, like, all right. I mean, I guess it's like one of those things where it's like we're doing a lot of things that are very similar yeah. to each other, but they're not like actually. It just seemed all yeah. like there was thing. too many ideas because I feel like. Like, someone possibly started out with, like, oh, we're doing, 
festival and someone took festival as circus into the production room to produce the song and then the music video guy took it as theme park yeah and we've ended up yeah. and then the stylist took festival as uh three days in at coachella and you're all just <laughs> mismatching whatever clothes are clean. <laughs> and this is what we've received three days in and at now coachella. we have this Hey, uh, honestly, Sammy, hey, it might be no offensive to the people who go clothes. to Coachella because honestly, I think they have better fat. Most of them have better fashion sense than whatever the fuck they they're wearing. But I'm saying, like a traditional Coachella, you're in the middle of the desert for like a week. And True. Burning Man. Let's go Burning Man if that's better. Like you're seven days in in the middle of the desert, and there's only so much you can clean. You're just wearing kind of mismatched pieces that are clean. Yeah. That's all I'm saying is that this kind of like it feels like different people got different notes. And, like, the girls are trying. I'll give them this. The girls, uh, much like most of these songs, we pointed out when they weren't trying, when we think No, yeah, trying. Red Velvet's like, trying songs, with this, but there's these, only so much you can do when, like, the lyrics and the production something. are just shit from the get-go. Or bad. Yeah. Fair. So that was our 2019 worst list. Woo! All well, right. We did it, I guess. The lists get more varied. I can't tell you the lists get better or worse. The years of K-pop, it just depends on what kind, kind of year of we're having. Because it just K, it, it's really just K-pop is different. The farther back, it's interesting. Yeah, but go, it's, so it'll be interesting to see the, the trends as we keep different. going back in time. Honestly, Again, I can't believe we found like because the SM next... Entertainment will not just be entirely on the S- worst S- list. SM will years. actually no. be on many of the best now. lists from going back. Oh yeah, yeah, if anything, they're probably like, they might potentially be overrepresented. If anything. Possibly yeah. because, but also here's the thing: we'll as you go turn. back, there's also way less companies to pick from. That's true. There it's wasn't like SM a huge influx. And a, yeah, that's like SM and like the big three, and like a handful yeah. of other companies were all that existed yeah. back then. But like looking at it, I think it depends on one on the year that we're having, and two, it also kind of depends on the true. Well, again, I I like the fact that we kind of found the nexium of one current <laughs> SM shittery, oh God. and two noise music in a way. So, yeah, yay, we'll see what other trends we find as we go back. Yep, yep. Uh, come back next month when we're going to do 2018. Woo! Woohoo. Hooray. Hooray. Uh, so, we are available on all major podcasting platforms like Apple Podcasts and Spotify. We also have a YouTube channel where we upload all of our videos um, along with fun clip videos every month. Because we're doing these top 10 best and worst lists of the month, me and Sammy are going to be doing our individual top 50 songs list. Not me, because um, I can't list anything for shit. It would just probably be just a recommendations (laughs) list, if anything. I'm, I'm, the I'm problem like is, I'm, I'm, just, I'm now, way too so indecisive when gotta, it comes to songs. I, for me, it's kind of it. like, I'm, I could probably do a top five if you ask me, but for me, I'm just kind of like, okay, here, here's a collection of songs I, I really like, let, you know? Let's be honest here. Uh, our rankings are entirely arbitrary. At right, the end Kayla? of the day. I mean, entirely you have to arbitrary. you have to get used to the fact that once you make the ranking list, you're going to look at it the next day and it's going to feel wrong, but it just kind of has to... At some point, the video's got to get made. Do, like, messing at some with point, it, the yeah. video has to get edited and uploaded. Yeah, that's the thing. So I'm too indecisive just, for yeah, that kind yeah. of stuff, so that's why I leave it to you two to do that. Oh, please. We made these lists like what six months ago, Kayla, when we started doing this project. Oh damn, you you would have, have, yeah, uh, yeah. I've started making them a while yeah. ago. I have to go reorder them, and then. But for the but at some point in time, some of these videos I'm making probably like a month before we even get to that year. So Fair like enough. you know, don't take it seriously. No, it is what it is. <laughs> yep. All right. Um, and with that, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye. Bye.